I think for me, the, the, the key is, is to make sure that everyone realizes that one person can make a difference. All my life, I've been working to protect an endangered animal on Canada's west coast, the spirit bear. And of course, I hope other people will be ignite, have their passion ignited for trying to save this bear. But I think what's more important to me is that people realize that everything I've done to try to help save the spirit bear is the same thing others can do for any, any issue that they believe in. And it's not that my story is so remarkable. But I think it's remarkable in the fact that it's unremarkable. And I, I've, everything that we've been able to accomplish on behalf of the bear, from a lemonade stand all the way to making a Hollywood movie, it's something that others can do because it hasn't been done with a great deal of money or, or uh, you know, intellectual capacity. It's just one person who is fortunate enough to find his passion at a young age and uh, even more fortunate to follow it. And I do believe everyone out there has a passion. And uh, if, if, if I can be that one to help uh, showcase how easy it is to create change in this world, then I've done my job. I think the key thing for me is, is to remember that one person can make a difference. Uh, I, I, I hate to sound repetitive, but uh, at the end of the day, uh, I hope people learn a little bit more about the spirit bear. I hope they want to help us protect this bear. But I think the, the, the campaign to save the spirit bear is some, about something much bigger. It's to remind people that if we can succeed in saving the spirit bear, we will have succeeded in something far greater, to prove that one person, one young person, with no remarkable skills or intellect, but armed simply with a passion, can take hold of a cause and unite the world. And I think it's that message of hope and, and that reminder that, that we all have a role to play and that each day we make a difference, for better or for worse, is something that we need to remind people to reestablish that sense of community in our society and through individual acts of success and failure to learn from those re-establish that idea of mentorship and hopefully create a better society for all life for generations to come. I'm speaking to every kind of audience. At the end of the day, there is no better or worse audience for me. I think that uh, the great thing about this campaign that, uh, that I've been embarking on, this journey I've been embarking on, it's something that's applicable to all audiences, to business, to politics, to education, to nonprofit, for young pe people, for old people. At the end of the day, I think it, it crosses all barriers. And I think that's what's important, is that hope resonates in all facets of society and that change can be accomplished through business, through politics, through nonprofit. There is no box anymore. And, and I really believe that uh, I, I look at issues and I look at society today as, as sort of in this post-partisan world. And I think there's an opportunity for everyone to find their passion through their individual skill sets and through that to affect change to create a better world. And I hope that uh, I have the opportunity to, to speak to many disparate audiences, to, to challenge them on their thought process, uh, to share my experiences in the hopes that people can learn from uh, our successes and our failures. And, and at the same time, uh, hopefully I can learn from them and their experiences. And, and collectively, we can find new ways to be innovative and, and to, 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 to basically continuously demand better of ourselves and of our society so that we do leave this world in a better place than we found it. For me, I, I look at whoever I'm speaking to, find out basically what it, what it is they want me to bring to the table. Are they, are they wanting to hear my story? Are they wanting to hear my views on the environmental community or environmental issues? Is it my, in my insight into politics or what's happening in, the, in, uh, in business in terms of our experience through making a Hollywood animated movie? Um, for me, I, I think each audience brings uh, a unique perspective to the table. They have unique uh, demands in terms of what they want to see uh, for their audience. And I want to work with the client to find a, a way to to tailor my message and my story to their audience and make sure that it's, that it's relevant and that it's hopefully uh, inspiring and that everyone, myself and the audience, can walk away learning something and, uh, and create uh, a stronger sense of relationship across barriers and, and that uh, through that process, uh, everyone can feel that their needs are met. And, and at the end of the day, I'm not so stubborn and, uh, that I'm going to deliver what I want to deliver. I, I, I want to make something that is, that is unique, that's special, is, is specially tailored to, to the demands of, of, of whoever I'm speaking to and that uh, everyone feels like it, it was a success at the end of the day. Wonderful. Memorable events. You know, I, I think I, I've had one of, the, one of the great privileges of my life is, is through this campaign to protecting the spirit bear is having the opportunity to be part of uh, Speaker Spotlight's roster and to be able to speak to such incredibly disparate groups around the world. And um, I, 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 several stand out in my mind, several 
exciting travel stories. Um, but, but I think more importantly, I, I, I remember speaking to uh, uh, a whole host of different audiences. And I think to me, um, it's not that there, there's one event that stands out over another. It's just the uniqueness in the audiences that I've spoken to. Uh, how everyone has had a unique perspective. How everybody has had a different question and a different take on what I've done and how that relates to the work that they've done. And I think the, the best events for me are the ones where, where uh, it's non-traditional audiences. For example, an oil producer's Christmas party or a, uh, or a corporate retreat with, with Craft Canada. Um, you know, it, it's, it's, such, it's such an out-of-the-box audience from what you'd think I'd normally speak to. And to be able to have the opportunity to challenge those types of audiences and to work with them to come up with new ideas, it's something that's, I, I hope, rewarding not only for the client, but, but it equally is rewarding for me. And, and for me, those are the ones that stick with me because it, it challenges me to, to come out of my shell. It challenges me to be something a bit different. And at the end of the day, I, I, hopefully everyone learns something.